my little honey bee. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, one and all. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so young with the voice. You'll have to come back, Comrade Carp. Grandpa is still asleep. A new baby came to the hospital last night, and then Grandpa came home and did his writing. Good morning. That's not the way you say it. You say, a baby came into the bright world in the darkest part of the night. Don't talk so pretty. A new baby. Isn't that nice? What's nice about it? All right. I'll be back. You argue too much. Good morning, Grandpa. Oh, good morning, lad. You should not have worked all night. Mm, had a good night's work. Did a little writing. Feel better? Mm -hmm. Come and have breakfast now. What seems to be the trouble, Boris Stepanich? It'll take a better mechanic than I am to answer that. The patient is cured, Father. It's all right now. Hello, Comrade Cop. You ever been to Kiev? Of course. There was a pretty girl there who lost her head over me. Years ago. Oh, of course. Well, this is the last day of school. Tomorrow morning we'll be on our way. It's our vacation and we're going to Kiev. On a holiday. Uh, that's a nice bus ride. Not for us. We're hiking. All the way? Well, of course. It'll only take us four or five days. Only. Marina is going? Yes, Marina and Claudia and Gracia, my brother. Unfortunately. Ah, uh, but Marina is the one who counts. Have you proposed? Or does one propose in these modern times? Good morning, Papa. Good morning. doing, Marina? I'm baking honey cake for the trip. Cakes have to be baked now. You're not leaving until tomorrow. Well, it's hard at our age to remember how exciting a trip can be. The planning's half the fun. A long time ago, this is the way I wore my hair. Were you pretty, Mama, when you were young? <laughs> I'm not so old, little one. Mama's pretty now, and she's not old. It's only that you're so young. I'm not so young. There are plenty who are younger. Yes, and there always will be. Sophia, when you go marketing, remind everybody to come and help with the loading of the trains. Tell them there'll be supper for all when the work is finished. I'll tell everybody. I'll tell everybody. May I, Papa? May I? I'll do it on my way to school. Please, may I? May I? All right, you tell them. I'll say there'll be supper for everybody. Yes. I'll say there'll be music and singing. I'll say there'll be dancing. And I'll say there'll be cider for old people and food things for children. You might also remember to say there will be work. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes, I'll say that too. Everybody must work, I'll say. No pancakes? You know what else the common commander said to me? You have my permission not to tell me. Eat pancakes, that's what he said. It has been recently discovered that pancakes are fine for a bombardier's nerves. That ought to interest you, Damien. You're going to be a doctor. It doesn't interest me. Don't worry with those maps, Damien. I know all the roads. And when we get to Kiev, I will show you and your little friends all there is to see. Me and my little friends are still young. A visit to Kiev is something that doesn't happen to us every day. And don't patronize us about it. Be a man of the world in front of your mirror. It's better that way. 
mirrors don't talk back. <laughs> hmm? Most men in the world feel pleased when they have sons. I wonder why. I told you years ago, two quiet little girls would have been very nice. Well, you can't change it now, and you wouldn't if you could. Two healthy, brilliant, handsome sons. <laughs> June 20th, 1941, 8 a.m., broadcasting from Moscow. Be still, both of you. German troop movements are reported on the Polish border. German troop movements are reported on the Polish border. Their nature is unknown. Reports reach us of a typhus epidemic in the German-occupied city of Warsaw. London was bombed twice last night by the Luftwaffe. In the Polish city of Lodz, 112 Polish children died this morning as a result of being made to give blood transfusions to German wounded. Children taking blood... Here's a report from reliable sources... Bye, Scott. Bye, baby. Bye, Papa. I love you. Bye, dear. Come on, Club D, you'll be late. For my brother, not my guardian, my sister. Good morning, Claudia. Good morning, Marina. You're early. You know, I never eat breakfast. You always look so clean. And you're no cleaner than I am. Maybe not as clean. And your hair is curly. Your hair looks nice. It's the straightest wheat. Then don't try to console me. Well, well, the last day of school is a happy day. Even I remember. Oh, no. No? I'm very sorry it's the last day. My first words will be to congratulate our three pupils in the last class who have all been awarded scholarships to the State University of Kiev. One of those three has taken the highest marks of any pupil in this year's senior graduating class. He is Dimyon Tarasov. It is not my custom to start your vacation with a lecture. But this is the summer of 1941, a solemn time. No one of us knows what will happen. I don't have to remind you that we are people with a noble history. You are expected to carry on that history with complete devotion and self-sacrifice. I think you will do that. And now, have a happy summer. Not a 
You know, Marina, I uh, I can't explain it, but, well, I, I almost wish we weren't having this supper tonight. Although, goodness knows, I usually love it, but, but it interferes, really, with the trip, if you know what I mean. Too many good things at once. Mm. I felt it, too. I didn't want anything to happen, just the trip, nothing else. Oh, well, we really won't celebrate tonight. We just eat supper and act like it was any other evening and we were home with the family. You know what? I'm not going to sing tonight. Even if everyone asks me, I won't sing. And don't you sing either. <laughs> Seems to have them leaping, but that teacher should be keeping them in school yet. Claudia says we'll go to the theater when we get to Kiev. All we have to do is apply for the tickets. We'll have three whole days in Kiev. We shall see everything. Oh, it's been a good year. Scholarship to the university, of course, means the most. There was a medal for marksmanship. And now this vacation. We'll be separated for a year. You'll be getting a scholarship the following year. But it's this year I'm thinking about. That's a long time. I don't think it is at our age. You don't think so? How strange. What are you saying, Marina? Nothing. I don't want to talk about it. It's odd that you don't think a year away from me is a long time. It doesn't worry you? No. All right. You don't have to keep saying it over and over. Are you sure you feel about me as you used to? I don't like this talk. It, it's bad. It's only natural It's not I... natural at all. It's not like you. I've loved you since I was old enough to see you. I will love you until I die. 
That's the way it is, and there's no need to talk about it. You mean you'll never talk about it? You'll never tell me? I'll tell you in my own time, but I'll not tell you to waste time. Look here, Marina, you and I are, are like one person. I always thought you wanted both of us to be educated. And... I didn't mean that. Of course I want you to go to the university. Of course. It would make me sad if you didn't, and ashamed. But it wouldn't matter. I'd go anyway. I'm a citizen of this country. I intend to go forward with it and, and to give it all I have. Strong feelings about it. You come along with those feelings. But you don't come before them. I understand. I feel the same way for myself. For both of us. I was being foolish. I only wanted to be with you. I'm proud you got the scholarship, of course. You'll be a great man. And the whole district will be proud of you. You'll have medals. I think we'll go to the theater every night. That's too often. We'll grow old together. And I'll be a beautiful old woman. And very kind. Oh, I'm sure of it. My grandchildren will love me. And you will, too. More than ever. What's wrong with that? Plenty of people grow together and have a fine life behind them. I didn't say there was anything wrong with it. I should buy baby dresses and key. For who? For our first... For our grandchildren. Oh. You'll, um... You'll put the dresses away for a while. Of course, that's what I mean. our journey to Don't you think, Cody? I don't need to plan to get up and get dressed and eat my breakfast. I know how to do that. I'm getting tired of hearing you children talk about this trip. I'm only going because Father made me. Oh, well, I thought it was because... Well, because me. I mean us. Don't you like us? No. What's the matter with you, Claudia? I have a choking sensation in my chest. You eat too much. You usually do. It's not at all that. It's my emotions in the chest. <laughs> Claudia, you're a throwback. What's that? What do you mean? Somebody who doesn't belong to their own time. Ours is a new world, Claudia. You don't belong in it. Oh, I see. You mean I'm rather old-fashioned. And romantic, rather. Yeah.
No. I told you, you cannot come along. I'm always too young. I'm too young for everything. Well, someday when everybody else is too old for everything, you'll be just old enough. <laughs> <laughs> take care of the puppy. I'll bring everybody a present. Don't get your feet wet. And take care of yourself. Goodbye. 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 <laughs> Goodbye. We have ever been separated, Grandpa. It's only for a short time. Good morning. Good morning. Clumsy in the body of those clumsy in the head. You wake Grandpa and oh, I'm going to kill you, nasty little thing. I'm going to kill you. Drink your milk, Claudia. will now find it more comfortable to get up. Goodbye, Father. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Several times last night you said goodbye. We'll be back soon. We'll try to get along without you. Well, goodbye. Oh, Mother. <laughs> we'll be back soon. Oh, have a good time, son. We'll miss you. Hey, <laughs> Semyon! Coming! Good journey, Marina. Good journey. Good journey! 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 Good morning, Kolya. Good morning. Hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, good morning, Club. <laughs> What's the matter with you? What are your face? You're so foolish. Well, you never said good morning to me before. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. I don't like guns, Paul. Then don't have one. I don't like the noise they make. Who does? Why are you carrying it? You look at me, Claudia. You will see that I'm in uniform. Men in uniform carry guns. Uniform, Air Force, Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. Remember now? <laughs> oh, you're teasing me. Don't play with that gun, please. I intend to use it. When we're near the end of the trip, I intend to kill someone and leave their carcass for the hawks. You want help? Oh, no. No, I will stop you. I will sacrifice myself. Oh, I couldn't stand to think of you lying in jail. A murderer, tortured with conscience. Oh, Cornia. I've got to kill him. But who? Jim Yard. <laughs> <laughs> Two weeks of you, child, is going to be a long, long time. Too much air, mother. Look how young I am, mother dear. Please recall that at one time you were small. If I'm hard on my clothes and I do not wipe my nose, parents dear, please recall that at one time you were small. Tiddly um, tiddly um, tiddly um, tum 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 tum. We're the younger generation and the future of the nation. If I look as I pass into every looking glass, parents mine have no fear, just go back some twenty years. If I stay out of doors and don't help with kitchen chores, parents mine have no fear, just go back some twenty years. Tilly yum, tilly yum, tilly yum, tum 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 tum. We're the younger generation and the future of the nation. If to school I am 
am late. Please don't school and that you say. Parents, dear, isn't it true? One time you were that way too. If I made too much noise and I hit back at the boys. Parents, dear, isn't it true? One time you were that way too. Tiddly um, tiddly um, tiddly um, tum, 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 tum. We're the younger generation and the future of the nation. Parents, dear, use your tack. If you don't like how we act, do not fret, do not mourn. Is it our fault we were born? Please forgive all we do, for someday we'll suffer too. When in turn we will groan at some children of our own. Tiddly-yum, 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 tum-tum-tum-tum. We're the younger generation and the future of the nation. Don't your feet hurt? In the army, your feet learn to stop hurting. I told you, young athletes, not to walk so far and so fast the first day. Make a fire. We must have a fire. A fire is so romantic. We must have a fire. Otherwise, we can't sit around and dream. Maybe it would be better to kill you. make noises when they sleep? I don't know. I never listen to all men. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Cobb. Oh. Good morning, Cobb. Good morning. Good, morning. Good, morning. Good morning. I thought we'd pass you. We're on our way home. I'll give you a ride to the crossroads. Good. It's time for a ride. You can't go on a walk and just take a ride. You can't. Well, you'll see more if you walk, but you don't need to be riding a few miles. Oh, come on. And riding's good for the feet. Well, well. Nothing like having good feet. My feet are not good. They're much too small. Everybody knows that. I think we should walk. You can't go on a walking trip and take a ride. Who made up that law? It's not a law. It's just, well, it's it's not romantic. I see. You and Marina walk. We men will ride. Would you ride when I walk? <laughs> Darling Marina, I'm not making you walk. Would you let me walk while you row? The brightest of women are not bright. I'm learning that. We are women. Different things go on in our heads. That's what makes us attractive. You coming? You're quite certain you want me. (laughs) 
fine marriage yours will be. Boss you and then laugh at you. Oh, come on, Claudia. When you don't stand by your convictions, you set back the cause of all women everywhere in the world. She's an interesting type, Claudia. Like a piece in a museum. Why shouldn't we sing? Because I've been hearing something. You've been hearing your own head. A wit. I hear it. I've been hearing it for an hour. But I don't know. Sometimes I hear things from other years. Sometimes I even forget what year it is. 1914, 1915. Or 1941. What are you carrying on about? can all hear it. They're planes. You ought to know what planes sound like. There are many planes, and they're not far from here. <laughs> can we have an Air Force while you're on leave? You should have let Grandpa examine your head. Maybe there's something wrong inside. Whoa!
I don't know yet. I don't think he... Something. No. You take a drink of water, child. Both of you, close your eyes and take my arm. The face of war is ugly, and not for the young. We're not young anymore. time in my life I haven't been hungry. Oh, yesterday we were home and everybody in the... One day you're home and the next day, the next day, here you are. Last week, the little boy was in the store with his mother. I met them there. He had a ball and he was bouncing it with his left hand. I remember because I noticed he was left-handed. I wondered what it felt like to be left-handed. I know. There he is without his left hand. Without the hand that bounced the ball. Oh, I shouldn't be talking this way. I know it. You're all ashamed of me. You are what you are, Claudia. It's my opinion that the trouble in the world comes from people who don't know what they are. Pretend to be something they're not. Come on, Claudia. I'll watch your face. Dirty. Go back. It's over. There's nothing to do. I always wanted to know how the doctor felt. <laughs> and I'm very glad to have a patient. People around here are too healthy. <laughs> like your baby? Oh, she's very ugly. Like her father. <laughs> and beautiful. <laughs>
border villages. The fascist armies of the German Reich invaded the Soviet Union this morning. I will repeat. The German armies crossed the border of the Soviet Union this morning. The attack was made with unprecedented fury. But our land will be defended with a fury the fascist armies have never known. To the border villages. Salute, comrades. The war has come. Comrades, we have good reason to know that our country is at war. In our small village alone, 30 people have been injured. 11 people have been killed. But this is not a time for mourning. It is time for revenge. We will divide into two groups, each to do his duty from this day until death. The able-bodied men are to come forward to the right of this building. We will move from the village to the hills and take our position as guerrillas. I will go immediately to Comrade Commander Petrov's garrison to get the guns. The second group has the hardest job. They must stay behind. As guerrillas, we must have aid and information. As villagers, you must, before the entrance of the Germans, Destroy everything. Everything, comrades. The houses you have built, the crops you have sowed with your hands, the cattle you have raised. The Germans are not more than 50 miles away. Yours is the dangerous job. For this job, you will volunteer. It is you who may have to live with the... the Germans. I, who am about to become a guerrilla fighter of the Soviet Union, I take this solemn oath. I, who am about to become a guerrilla fighter of the Soviet Union, I take this solemn oath. I will not lay down these arms until the last fascist is driven from our land. I will not lay down these arms until the last fascist is driven from our land. I am willing to give my life to die in battle to keep my people from fascist slavery. I am willing to give my life to die in battle to keep my people from fascist slavery. You know where we'll be. One of us will come every night to the Pine Grove. Remember, we'll need supplies and information. 
A land. Our village. We remember we fought another war to make them ours. We swear to give our lives if they be needed. We, we swear! Now, just a moment. These reports show the Germans rapidly advancing across our territory. By nightfall, there won't be a highway free of their guns, their tanks, and their supply trucks, all going to the front. Remember, you've a good 40 miles to travel. The best chance is to take to the back road. That'll take too long. I'll have to take a chance on the highway. We need that ammunition bad and quick. I'll get the truck through. You can count on it. Good. Comrade Carp is going to take my place. My duty is to report to the nearest airfield. So gather around, listen closely, and I'll show you what I think is your only chance to get back to the village. The Germans must have crossed the river at the upper bend. And... Get down, everybody.
I promise. That's all of it. I'll say goodbye now. I travel at night and stick to the woods. When you get to the upper crossroads, you'll yeah, see... But a little... what about you? You said the Germans are across the river. How can you get to the airfield? I'll get through, all right. Now, do your best. Don't be frightened. Fear is a bad enemy. Or so people have told me. I love you. Marina. We'll do the best we can. That's all. Tell Mother that... Grisha. Goodbye, Collie. Look after them, Carl. Five years ago, we fought and died for this earth. People go forward. They fight for themselves and make things better for themselves. More food, a good bed, jokes to make, and time to laugh. Then the filthy come and try to stop it. They want to take away from people all the good they've made for themselves. Well, then you take your gun and you fight. Until you've killed all such. Ready, comrades? Yes, yes comrades. Comrade. We're ready. Occupy the North Star Village. How big is this village? Not big. It's only taking 125 men to hold it. We are ordered to establish a regimental field hospital at the village North Star Head. Field hospital and a village dispensary. How can I take care of all these men and more to come? The order says that more ambulances and doctors will be sent to us. I don't want doctors. I need surgeons. The Colonel has forgotten me. I am a surgeon. A surgeon is a man who can operate. Dr. Richter, I have not forgotten. Dr. Richter, where did you take your medical training? Fly book. I have told the colonel many times before. <clears throat> that was a good school. I must beg the colonel's pardon. With respect to the colonel's superior rank and reputation, I must beg the colonel's pardon. Do say... not beg my pardon so often, Dr. Richter. Good manners do not make a good surgeon. Well known, of course. The colonel studied at the University of Leipzig. In the great days, I was a pupil of Friedenthal. His most famous pupil. Friedenthal? The Jew? Yes, Friedenthal the Jew. The colonel did not mind his being a Jew? Mind? I never thought about it in those days. It must be pleasant to be so sure of oneself. I should like to think I was as good as the Colonel thinks he is. <laughs> the day you think you're as good as I am, Dr. Easter, I will know that you're suffering from delusions of grandeur, and I shall commit you to an asylum. Trust me, Dr. Easter.
part. The hardest part. The hardest part. Go and do it now. Others give their lives. We give what is life to us. on this pleasant tour through Western Europe. It's a beautiful color. No. Danger doesn't amuse me. Now they state facts. A strong people, one has always heard that. A hard people to conquer. Responsible for the burning and destruction in this village. Where are the younger men? They burned it and have tried to escape. Is that correct? been burned down? It is not bad. We caught it. Carry in the casualties immediately and get the operative cases ready for you. At your order, sir. The 
chairman of the Soviet of this collective farm is called Rodion Pavlov. Is he here? Where is his family? I wish these questions answered. You have already, by the burning of this village, shown yourselves to be enemies of the German army. We punish our enemies severely. Where is the wife of Rodion Pavlov? I am the wife of Rodion Pavlov. Come forward. I wish to know where your husband is hiding. How many men he is with him, and how much ammunition? Yes? I cannot answer those questions. You are certain that you will not answer? I am certain. Take her inside. Wagner. 